This is near Alger Michael. You can see people fishing for free. You can fish just about anywhere in Japan. If you catch any fish, you can eat it. All fish are edible. Yes, they are. And in the background, you can hear someone singing. There's a jazz concert. It only costs 100 yen to enter back there. So life is returning to Japan. Okay, I'm gonna head to Azure Michael Beach. I wish I brought my action camera. Sheesh, it's hot. To my left is a hotel. It's expensive. The great thing about living in Japan is that you can find vending machines everywhere. Look at that. Water for 110 yen. I'm mask free, by the way, guys. <laughs> See, that is a hotel. Newlyweds go there. They have palm trees here. Are those palm trees? It really does look like a resort. Over there is Awaji Island. To get to that island, you have to cross that bridge by a vehicle, a car or bus, no trains. It's possible to get there by ferry. There is a ferry dock way in Akashi. Way down there is Akashi City. This is Azur Michael Beach. It is going to open on July 11th for swimming. Rock climbing. I guess that's for kids. It's too small. A nice place to come down to with your family. Little kids can catch crabs, dip their toes in the water. You can tell it's blocked up by rope. And there is a security guard patrolling and riding a bike. He's wearing a blue shirt over there. So, no swimming until July 11th. Over there you have washrooms and I believe that's also a change room and in front of you are free showers but, but they're not open yet. More vending machines and they're getting ready for, for a food stand and over there that's where you can change your clothes and they have coin lockers. You have to pay money to use the coin lockers. You can tell it's not open yet. It's a very nice place to bring your family down, bring up a pop-up tent, set it up anywhere in the green or in the sand along the beach. You're allowed to bring your tent down here and, and have a picnic, but there's no barbecuing allowed. Ooh, hot babe. Look at that puppy. <laughs> it's cute. You can see that they set up, this is Life Saver Hombu. Okay, so that's where the lifeguards hang out. If you ever get to this part of Japan, cross over the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge and go to Awaji Island. You can just hang around that north side. There's a beach over there. I think it's called Iwaya Beach. Maybe I'll do a video on that beach um, soon. And there's a place called Oasis. It's, a, it's like a service area. There's a, um, oh, there it is. You can see um, a Ferris wheel. They have a Starbucks and many shops and restaurants. It has a beautiful view of this side from that side. What's this? I see some kids going into the water. I guess it's okay to go into the, into the shallow area.
You see that sign? It says, no fireworks allowed. And this sign says, wear marine shoes in, in case you step on something pointy. Let's just go down close to the, let's go down to the water. Absolutely beautiful. That buoy says chewy. Careful. So that means you can go into the water up to that point. Up to those blue buoys. The water is deep. So in the distance you can see people. They look like kids in the water. It's a fantastic day to go in. I'd jump in right now, but nah, it's not hot enough. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Come down to Kobe. Life is returning. Life is returning. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and visit Kobe. And visit Japan.